Okay, guys. So today we're going to be looking at one of the ways you can color grade your wedding images and make your couple stand out in your shot. So the first thing I'm going to be doing to these images, I'm going to be cropping it. Very important because I want to lose this up. It feels like a distraction to me. All right, so you can notice that I cropped it out already. So the next thing I need to do is to darken the background a little so that them as well can stand out. So to do that, I'm going to make a selection of the object itself. So select inverse and zoom in to see how our selection is. So if you zoom in, you will notice the selection is losing her crown. So we we'll just try to get that back. So just take your time and get your own selection right. Depending on the kind of wedding image you are working in, working on, depending on the scenario. Yeah, so what I'm being is just peculiar to this particular image. Your own image may not need uh, this detailed selection because of uh, what she's putting on. Your own might even need more. Okay, so we'll check his head. Okay, so. Once we have that done, I'm going to make a duplicate of this. Or rather, before that, right click and go to Feather. Make sure I'm selecting three. Yeah, just something very low. We don't want the edge to look <laughs> extremely sharp. Okay, so I just picked up my curves. I'll just darken it down a little. So you see that automatically they start to stand out. Yeah, so I'm going to create a color lookup table or the background as well. Just something to give us that separate, look at that. Something to give us that separation that we want. So I'm just looking for something that we complement. So I think we can work with this and reduce it to its barest minimum, where it can serve. Let's now use this to check out other ones. I'll see what we'll get. So I have this. I think I love this one. Let's stick with this. So the next thing is to go to our camera roll. Because of course, one of the ways to separate your object from your background is to use color. Very important. So I'll just go to my camera roll and play around with the greens behind. Trust me, you will love this. So I'll go to my color mixer, go towards the greens. So I'm looking for exactly where the colors behind her are. So we'll have greens and yellows behind her. So what we're going to do is we're going to hue our green towards a yellow hue. Yeah, since they, they are already standing in front, it will have a very warm green behind them. It's going to also push them out. So I'll move these greens towards this direction. Look at that. Beautiful. Good. Then also move the yellows towards it a little. So that we can just get that golden effect we want behind them. We can even warm it up a little or uh, cool it down. But let me just warm it up slightly. Reduce the highlight behind them. Yeah. Try it and see what the shadows are giving. You can decide to increase it now. You can decide to darken it. Let's just darken it down a little. You can even vibrance it just slightly a little bit more. Then press OK. And boom. Immediately our object is looking outstanding our object is looking outstanding so this is one of the ways you can separate your wedding images from its original background now we can create a stamp visible layer and have everything globally color graded so we can reduce the highlights so that the details on our dress can we get back we can as well come to effect and create a very strong vignetting pull the mid tones in the midpoint in just towards her yeah, so reduce the amount of vignetting so it doesn't darken everything out. So we can now decide to increase the overall vibrancy of this scene. Very good. Yeah, add a little bit of more contrast. Then we can decide to brighten the man up separately. Just like that. Very good. You can as well go down to your calibration and even make things a bit more vibrance and we are good to go look at that so let me show you the overall before and after this is the before this is the after this is the before this is the after so this is how you can use colors and color grading 
to separate your object from your background and make your wedding image stand out. One more thing we can do is that, let me just take, take it back a little. Let me show you one more thing we can do with all of this. So we already have this. We can go to our filter, go to camera raw. So the setting we did, I could just right click and go to apply previous setting. It brings it back. Now, what I wanted to show you is how you can export this as a preset so that you can as well use it on your other images. And we also will save it here. So if you are interested in getting this preset, just comment interested in the comment section and we will send it to you. So just come to this three dots, come to save settings. Yeah, turn on everything we need to be in that setting. Then press save. Yeah, so just maybe save it anywhere, maybe in the pictures and give it a name. So I could call it my wedding. Let me just call it wedding. Press enter. So any single time I need to use it, all I need to do is to come here, go to uh, load settings, go all the way to the pictures. It's already there. Look at it right here, wedding. And we are good to go. So I'll press OK. One more time. This is the before. This is the after. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you follow us for more.